Hi, my name is Miranda Peterson. I'm a 500-hour registered yoga instructor and based in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm also the owner and founder of Namaste in Nature. We combine yoga, hiking, and meditation with the most beautiful mountains and waterfalls in Western North Carolina. Uh, if you'd like to join us for a yoga hike, you can go to namasteinnature.com. It's easy to book online or on your phone. I also appreciate if you'd subscribe to this channel. I'll be releasing more yoga and meditation videos. And I put these videos out in the world for free, but I would appreciate donations of five or $10 um, via Venmo at Namaste Nature to help cover the costs of making these videos. It really takes a lot of hours. So today is the spring equinox. And the word equinox comes from the Latin words equus, which means equal, and nox, which means night. So today, daylight and nighttime are equal because the sun rises due east and sets due west. You'll need your yoga mat. You may want a couple blocks. If you have them, great. If not, it's okay. And you'll want a journal. And spring is the ideal time to plant seeds for things that you'd like to cultivate throughout the rest of the year. So if you have some goals or intentions you'd like to set for this year, pause this video and take a few moments to write down your thoughts, your goals, and your intentions in your journal. And then we'll get started with the practice. And so now that you've written down a few intentions, Try to select one that you'd like to focus on during this practice. Close your eyes and take a few breaths, sitting with this intention. And your intention doesn't have to be starting or taking on something new. It can also be letting go of something. One more breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of the mouth. I'd like to start our practice with Analoma Veloma. This is a pranayama or breathing exercise. And it's also sometimes called alternate nostril breath. And so we're balancing the right and left nostrils. The right is our masculine or solar side representing the daylight today and the left side is our lunar or feminine side representing the night. So you can rest your left hand on your knee, you can bring your right hand up. I like to bring the first two fingers down, bring your thumb to close the right nostril, inhale through the left, gently close the left nostril through two fingers, hold, release the thumb and exhale out of the right nostril, inhale through the right, close, Exhale through the left. Inhale left. Close. Open. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close. Exhale left. And we're going to do five more rounds of this breath. Should feel evening, balancing. Finish up that last round. And then release the right hand and come back to your normal breath, noticing the difference. Letting 
the breath come back to both right and left nostrils simultaneously. Let's do one more inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. And now we'll start warming up the body. So let's inhale the arms up, hands up towards the sky. You can gaze up, exhale, bring the left hand down, bring the right arm over, stretching into the right side body. Inhale back up to center, exhale, right hand comes down. Reach that left arm over, stretch into the left side body. Gazing up at the sky, inhale. Exhale, right hand to left knee, left hand behind you. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, twist to the opposite side. Left hand to right knee, right hand behind you. Just one breath here. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll come onto hands and knees and do a few rounds of cat cow. I really love this movement for warming up the spine. So knees under hips, fingers spread out underneath the shoulders. Inhale, dropping the belly down, head and hips up towards the sky. Exhale, round the spine, let the head and chin drop down. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Let's do three more of these. Last one, inhaling, exhaling. You return to your neutral tabletop position. Inhale the right arm up, release the right arm underneath the left, threading the needle, releasing the right side of the head and shoulder to the earth. You can extend the left arm forward or wrap it around the opposite hip. Breathe into this twist. Turn the left hand to the earth. Bring the right arm up. Extend the right leg out. We'll come into an extended side plank. So you're getting another nice long stretch in the right side body. Feel that length from the right toe tips up to the right fingertips. And then exhale, come back to neutral tabletop. We'll reset and do the other side. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, release the left arm underneath the right. Gently resting the head and the shoulder. Again, you can extend the right arm forward or wrap it around behind the back. And then release the right hand back to the earth. Letting the left arm come up, kick that right foot out, extend the left leg. Feel a nice long stretch in the left side body. Noticing from your fingertips all the way down to your toe tips. And then exhale, come back to neutral tabletop. Okay, we're gonna curl our toes under here, lift our hips up and back for downward dog. And I always like to start warming it up, walking it out, alternate bending the right and left knees, warming up the hips, hamstrings, calves and ankles and toes. Bending into both knees. We'll inhale the right leg up. Exhale, bring it forward between the hands. We'll keep the left knee down to start. Bring the left hand to the earth, right arm up for a gentle twist. That right knee's aligned over the right ankle. then start to come up into a revolve twist. So keeping that right foot planted on the ground, extend the arms in either direction. If it feels okay, you can bring that right arm down to the opposite leg, and then windmill the hands back down to the earth. Lift the left knee up, bring the right leg back. Okay, take a breath here in downward dog on the 
Inhale, let the hips float up. And the exhale, let the hips float back behind you, heels towards the earth. We'll inhale the left leg up. Exhale, bring it forward. Between the hands, drop the right knee down. Right hand stays on the earth. Left hand reaches up towards the sky. You can stay here or ground down into that left foot and right knee. Let the arms come up into a twist. One more breath, inhale, left arm comes down, right arm comes up. Exhale, windmill the hands back down to the earth. Lift the right knee up, step the right foot forward to the top of the mat and relax in a forward fold. Keeping your feet about hip width apart, keeping the knees soft here. Another breath here, you can let the arms dangle or you can grab opposite elbows and hang like a rag doll. And inhale up to standing, feeling each vertebrae stack on the way up. Relax the arms and hands by your sides. And we'll take couple breaths into dasana or mountain pose. This is what it looks like from the front. Feet hip width apart, relaxing the shoulders and the hands. Check in with the body, notice the breath and the heart rate, and the energy you have right now. So we're going to do both sun salutations and moon salutations today in honor of the equal day and night. So we'll start with sun salutations the top of our mat. I'll do traditional Hatha style sun salutation. So inhaling the arms up. Exhale, fold forward down towards the earth. Inhale, hands up the shins, flat back, gaze forward, exhale and fold. Inhale, step the right leg back, knee to the earth. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Inhale, step the right leg back, knees to the earth, chin and chest, followed by the hips. Inhale, up for cobra. Exhale, downward dog. And take a nice full breath here, inhaling, exhaling. And then step the right foot forward. Left knee down, inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Exhale and fold. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll do two more of those. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Gaze up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step the right leg back. Arms up, exhale, arms down. Inhale, left leg comes back, dive down towards the earth. Inhale up to Cobra, exhale, downward dog. Enjoying that full breath here. And then step the right foot forward on the inhale. Exhale, inhale, left foot meets the right at the top of the mat, exhale and fold. Inhale the arms up, exhale hands to heart. And do one more here with your own breath, the building that muscle memory, neural pathways in the brain.
And part of the reason this is called sun salutation is because we move forward and backward on our mat, kind of mimicking the rising and setting of the sun. Moon salutations are a little bit different. So if you have your blocks, you might want to place one block at each side of the mat, the right side and the left side here. And we're gonna start in the same position at the top of the mat. We'll inhale the arms up, gently clasp the right wrist, stretch over to the left. Inhale, switch your grip, stretch over to the right. Back to center. Open up the left leg so you're wide on your mat and sink down into goddess pose. So we want to sink the hips straight down, not out behind you. Take a breath here. Inhale up. Turn the right toes out towards the right. Bring the arms parallel to the earth and then start to tip over to the right. We're coming to Trikonasana here, so you can use your block or bring your hands to your leg, your shin, or your foot, or the earth. Reaching the left arm up, taking a breath in Trikonasana, triangle pose. Exhale, let that left hand come down. Turn both feet the same direction, come into pyramid pose. You might even need to step that back foot in a little bit. That's totally okay. Take a breath here and then bring the left knee down to the earth. We're gonna come into a lunge on this side. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands down. So bring the right hand inside of the left foot and we'll pivot so that your right knee is facing forward and the left toes are facing up. Okay, this is Skandasana or a side lunge. You can even bring that left arm up. Transition to the opposite side. I'm going to skandasana on the left side, left knee forward, right toes up. Okay, walk your hands around so you're doing a low lunge in the opposite direction. Left knee over the ankle, inhale the arms up. Exhale, the hands down. We're going to pop that back leg up, coming into pyramid pose. Parvottanasana on this side. And then have your block handy. If you need it here, bring your hand to the block or the earth. Turn the right toes forward. Come into Trikonasana on this side. Inhale, come back up. Come into goddess. Sinking the hips down, opening up the arms and the shoulders. Inhale the arms up. Step the left foot to the left side of the mat. And we're going to turn and do that same stretch. So clasp the right wrist with the left hand, stretch over to the left. Clasp the right wrist with the left hand, stretch over to the right. Exhale, let the arms come down. And we're halfway through our moon salutation. So let's bring the arms back up, stretch to the left, stretch to the right. Open up, step the right foot out, come into goddess pose. Take a breath here. Inhale up, keep right toes pointing forward, left toes to the left. Sink the arms down, coming into trikonasana or triangle pose. The right arm come down, both feet point in the same direction. Stepping that back foot as you need to. Right knee comes down to the earth. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, arms down. Bring both hands inside of the left leg. We'll come into Skandasana on the left side. Okay, walk the hands over to the right. Skandasana on the right side. Bring the hands down, pivot to face the front of your mat again. Low lunge on Janayasana. Uh, 
Pop that back leg up, coming into pyramid pose. Let's keep the right toes pointing forward. Left toes come out to the side, right arm stays down, left arm comes up for Trikonasana. Inhale, coming back up to standing, turn both toes, same direction, sink down into goddess pose. Inhale up, step the left foot back to the top of the mat, facing the front of the mat. We'll do our right side bend and left side bend. Then relax the arms by your sides. That is one moon salutation or Chandra Namaskar. We'll do two more, a little bit faster pace. Inhale the arms up, switch over to the left, over to the right. Open up the left foot, sinking down to goddess pose. Inhale up, Trikonasana on the right side. Left arm comes down into pyramid pose. Left knee to the earth, inhaling up for low lunge, exhaling hands down. Skandasana on the right side. Transition over to the left. Okay, pivot to face the back of your mat, right knee to the earth, low lunge. Right leg pops up. Relax into pyramid pose. Turn the right toes out, left hand on the earth, Trikonasana. Inhale back up to goddess pose. And step the left foot to the back of the mat. We'll do those side stretches. Okay, open up, right foot steps out, sink down into goddess pose. Inhale up, Trikonasana on the left side. Right hand comes down, low lunge, knee to the earth. Left side, Skandasana. Walk over to the right. Both hands to the earth, pivot to face the front of your mat. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Left leg pops up. Left toes turn out, right hand to the earth. Left arm up, Trikonasana. Rising back up into goddess pose. Inhale up, step the left foot to the top of the mat. We'll do our side stretches. To finish up our second moon salutation, Chandra Namaskar. Okay, let's do one more. Inhale up, stretch to left and to the right. Open up into goddess pose, sink the hips down. Inhale up. Trikonasana on the right side. Hands to the earth, Parvottanasana. Left knee to the earth. Bring the hands inside the right knee. Other side. Pivot to face the back of your mat, right knee to the earth. Right leg pops up. Right toes out, left arm down. Inhaling up, sinking down into goddess. Inhale up, right foot to the back of the mat. Side stretch. Okay, open back up to the right. Sink down into goddess pose. Bring that lunar goddess energy. Inhale up. 
left toes, point out, come down into Trikonasana. Right hand to the earth, pyramid pose. Right knee down, low lunge. Skandasana on the left. Over to the right. Facing the front of your mat again, left knee to the earth. Left leg comes up. Left toes out, right hand down, left arm up. Back up into goddess pose. One last time, inhale up. Step the left foot to the top of the mat. Side stretch. Relax the arms by the sides. Check in with the body again, noticing the breath, the heart rate, and the energy. How you feel different, moving side to side versus forward and backward on our mat. And Chandra Namaskar, moon salutations represents the phases of the moon. New moon, full moon, waxing and waning. We're gonna do one more standing or balancing posture before working our way back down to the mat. So you may want both blocks at the top of your mat here. And maybe slightly off to the sides. Let's inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. We're gonna come into a standing split. So bring your hands to blocks or to the earth. And start to let that right leg float up. You wanna to try to keep the right toes facing down, keep the hips even. And if you wanna open up the leg here, you can. Next option is Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose. So you want to keep the left hand on the earth, right arm up. So you're facing the right side. You can keep the arm and leg here, or you can reach for the right foot with the right hand. Ardha Chapa Chandrasana. Switch you a little bit into a back bend. One more breath here. Exhale and release. Take a breath in between sides. And then start to pour the weight into the right leg and let the left leg float up. Keeping the hips even to start and then opening up the left hip. Maybe the left arm floats up for Ardha Chandrasana. Hand on the block or the earth. And if you'd like to find, oops, you'd like to find that left foot, the left hand, opening up to a back bend. One more breath. And exhale, release the hands to the earth and feet to the earth. Relax in a forward fold. start to make our way down to the earth. So take a seat on your mat with your legs extended forward. We're going to do the yin version of this. Start to slow down the body and the breath. Activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which lets us rest and digest. So your legs are about hip width apart. We're gonna inhale the arms up. Exhale, lengthen the spine as much as you can. Bring the arms forward until you have to round the back and release the hands 
to the earth. And rest the hands on the earth or on the legs. Let the head and the neck hang. This is called caterpillar pose. Be here for several breaths. It's yin style postures. We're all about letting go. So scan through the body. See what else you can let go of. Either in the toes or the feet, or the legs, maybe the hips, or the back or the shoulders or the arms or the hands. Make sure you're not clenching the jaw. Sink deeper into the shape for a few more breaths. walking the hands up the legs. So naturally, after we do caterpillar pose, we should do butterfly pose, right? So we bring the soles of the feet in together. Let the knees come out to the sides. So if you still have your blocks, you can place the blocks underneath your knees, especially if you have tight hips or legs. And butterflies, represent transformation and change, which relates in some way to that intention that you set at the beginning of practice. So you can come back to that intention during these yin postures. So start with a nice long spine, and then exhale, start to roll forward. Relax the head and the neck and the jaw. Is also going to open up the hips. And if you find your mind wandering away from the present moment to where you're at, you can always bring it back breath. Focus on the inhales and exhales to stay present. Those breaths help soften and relax the hips. Roll 
hold spine back up. Beautiful. So you can use the hands to bring the knees together and move the blocks to the side. We'll just do some windshield wipers to invite some movement back into the hips and the legs and the knees. One more time each side. And then I'd like to offer an inversion. So whichever of these is best for your body and your practice, option one is going to be bridge pose. And again, you likely want to use the block because we're going to be in bridge pose for a few breaths. So if you'd like to take bridge pose here, set up Andasana, bring the heels underneath the knees. Then lift the hips up and place the block underneath the hips, coming into a restorative bridge pose. Option two is going to be waterfall or legs up the wall. If you're near a wall, you can place your legs up the wall. A block also works for this if you gently place the block underneath kind of the lower part of the pelvis. And this will help support your legs up in the air. This is option two. And option three is going to be shoulder stand. So you start with the legs up, roll the hips back, bring the hands down the back, lift the feet up into the air. And you want to keep your neck still here, just gazing up at the toes or closing the eyes. If it feels good, you can also come back into plow pose, bring the feet behind the head. Okay, so choose your own adventure here. We'll hold this posture for five to 10 more breaths. Enjoy one last breath here. And if you did bridge pose or waterfall or legs up the wall, let your legs and hips start to come back down. And I recommend coming into happy baby, grabbing the outside of your feet, maybe rocking side to side. If you chose shoulder stand, you can bring the hands, palms down underneath the hips, lift the head up back coming into fish pose, the counter posture for shoulder stand. Okay, either way, we'll meet on our backs. We're going to finish up with a supine twist. So you can bring the knees into the chest, gently hug the knees and rock side to side. And you can bring your hands out to the side. Let the, maybe even scoot the hips a little bit over to the left. Let your knees fall to the right. Gaze over towards your left. A nice reclined twist. And everything should be supported by the earth. So if something's hanging out uncomfortably or awkwardly in space, you can place a blanket or a block or some other kind of prop underneath shoulders or knees.
Inhale, bring the head back to center, the hips and knees back to center. Maybe scooch the hips over to the right and let the knees fall to the left and gaze towards your right hand. are great for bringing out the internal organs and detoxing the body, helping with digestion. center, make any final movements, postures you'd like to complete your practice, maybe hugging the knees or going back to happy baby for a breath or two. And we'll come into final relaxation, Shavasana. So extend the legs out onto the mat. Let your feet fall out to the sides. Let your arms rest alongside the body, maybe off the mat. Palms facing up. Come back to your breath. Try to make each breath a little bit slower, a little bit longer, a little bit deeper. And I like to include a short body scan to help even the relaxation here. So when I say a part of the anatomy, just bring your awareness to that part and mentally tell it to relax. And we'll start with the toes. Relax the toes. Relax the soles of the feet and the tops of the feet. Relax the heels and the ankles. Relax the lower legs and the knees. And relax the upper legs. Relax the glutes. Relax the hips. Relax the lower back. Relax the upper back and shoulder blades. Relax the abdomen. Relax the chest. Relax the shoulders. Relax the upper arms. Relax the elbows. Relax the lower arms and the wrists. Relax the backs of the hands. Relax the palms of the hands. Relax the fingers. Relax the back of the neck. Relax the back of the head. Relax the sides of the head. Relax the jaw. Relax the cheeks. Relax the eyelids. Relax the eyebrows. Relax the forehead. Relax the top of the head and the scalp. So now the whole body is relaxed. The whole body is relaxed. The whole body is relaxed. Let your awareness settle on your breath and enjoy a few moments of and stillness.
start to invite movement back into the fingers and toes by wiggling or curling them, stretching them. Roll over onto your preferred side for a breath or two. Push yourself up to a comfortable seated posture. Bring your hands to heart center. I'd like to thank you for joining me for this special spring equinox practice today. I like to close with one ohm. You can join in or just listen. Do a full cleansing breath and then inhale for ohm. Inhale, exhale, inhale for Om. Again, my name is Miranda Peterson. I encourage you to keep practicing yoga indoors or outdoors. Namaste and have a great day. And don't forget to journal a little bit after this practice to see if you, um, a lot of times our yoga practice can give us great insights um, into our intentions and our goals. So spend a few moments journaling uh, around that same intention that we started with. And then we'll check in with that intention during the summer solstice. And I'd like to follow up again during the fall equinox.